I take the, uh, that phrase, time is money, and I say time is valuable. Because va money has a value to it, right? So it's not just completely wrong, but our focus isn't on money. But time is valuable. And we need to treat our time as such. And, and I'll tell you this much, especially you younger people here, you know, pay attention and, and, and lend your ear to someone who's been around a lot longer than you have and take it from people who, you know, as time goes on, you will know this fact, but it's better if you could learn it earlier on that your time is short. And this is common, and you'll hear this repeated by people who are much older than you, that, you know, your time is short. Man, I could remember how many older people, children, how many older people have you talked to, have you heard from, said, man, I could remember it just like yesterday. It feels like it's only been a year ago. And these are people who might be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, 90 years old. And in their minds, you could go back and think, man, that just really didn't feel like it was that long ago. But it's been decades. Time goes by really fast, and you need to make the best use of your time as possible. And we're going to get to this passage later, but the Bible says that your life is like a vapor which appeareth for a short time and vanisheth away. In the grand scheme of things, your life is extremely short. So the time that we have on this earth is extremely valuable. And when you consider that in light of the things that you will be receiving for an eternity, Rewards that God gives you are all based on what you do with your time here. This short period of time becomes all the more valuable. How about this? The people that you could win to Christ, the people whose eternal destination is going to be changed, has to happen during their time here on earth as well. This time is extremely important that we have because it's going to determine the outcome of souls going into eternity. And there's no changing that. Once a life is ended here on this earth, there are no more opportunities to change what you've already done and to change your mind on putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And for those of us who are already saved, there's no more time to go back and say, oh man, if I could just give the gospel to that person, or if I could have just given it, you know, it's over, it's done. You had an opportunity, and you either blew it, or you took advantage of it. You either wasted your time, or you redeemed your time. And the Bible teaches us very clearly, we need to redeem the time. We need to, we need to take this gift that God has given us of life in this world, and this opportunity that we have to use that time, and use it wisely. So as we go through the scriptures, I want you to continually think of your own life, of your own circumstance, of your own schedule, and be thinking, you know, as you're seeing all this scripture laid out, what can I be doing different? How can I change my life? How can I change my schedule? How can I make the best use of my time? Yes. 